So in order for you to run virtual machines on your computer, uh, it's not that you just have to enable the virtualization features in Windows, in software and features or Windows features. Uh, you actually have to go into the BIOS, make sure that the BIOS and, uh, uh, supports it and your processor actually can handle it for a I have a AMD uh, motherboard and processor so it was uh, it was not a smooth ride uh, enabling the virtualization I actually had to go and check all the um, settings in bias I could not find it uh, because the general instruction on the internet was for uh, Intel processors and Intel motherboards so it was a lot of trial and error and finally once I found it everything was uh, uh, smooth back up. So I'm going to show you that option just in case if anybody else is having trouble enabling this option in BIOS. So you, yeah, um, many of you would know that to go into the BIOS you have to restart your computer and when it's booting up you have to press the button that is for your to enter your bias sum in computer it's f8 f10 escape or delete depending on the uh, motherboard manufacturer like for hp i think it's escape or f10 all right so it's a gigabit uh, gigabyte uh, b450 motherboard so for this one uh, it's just this you see the very first option right here uh, the mit you have to uh, you can use the mouse here but I'm gonna go with the keyboard so you can actually go to the first one advanced frequency setting and then it's actually hidden underneath it so it's in advanced CPU core settings so you see it's uh, for the CPU uh, needs to uh, support it and CPU needs to uh, be able to handle the second layer uh, translation set so it's advanced cpu core settings and then there it is svm mode that secured virtual machine mode it's for uh, it's from amd for intel it's called something else and i kept looking in the bias over and over again uh, um, i could not find it so what i did is i enable and then went back to the machine like logged into windows see if it's working or not so it was a hell of a lot of uh, trial and error until I found this one SVM mode and once I enabled it, it started working. All right, so this is the only option for, for Intel. I think you have to enable two options in BIOS, but for AMD, it's just this one. Enable this and you're good to go. All right, so if, hope this video helps. Uh, if you like it, subscribe, share, and comment. Thank you, and you have a good one.